The new S-Class, the new luxury, brought to you by Mercedes-Benz. Malaysia Airlines parent company Malaysia Aviation Group or MAG is surprised and concerned about the preliminary approvals for two new airlines amid a potential carrier overcapacity. CEO Captain Isham Ismail says that with Malaysia's population at 32 million, he is worried that the new airlines, SKS Airways and My Airline, are flooding the market with unnecessary capacity. In response to queries by the edge, he said regulators and policy makers need to be really clear on what they want to do. Flood the market with capacity in a free-for-all situation or make aviation companies contribute to the economy by being profitable and sustainable. Additionally, Malaysia's infrastructure developments such as the East Coast Rail Link and Pan Borneo Highway will render the extra aviation capacity redundant. He added that MEG does not know the size of the business that the new airlines will take from the group, though he notes that the approvals for the air service licenses granted by Mavcom to SKS and My Airline are still subject to the airlines obtaining their air operators' certificates from the Department of Civil Aviation. Troubled cruise operator Gunting Hong Kong has filed to wind up the company, Bloomberg reports, putting the spotlights on what support its lead shareholder Tan Sri Lim Kok Tae may provide. The firm said in a statement to the Hong Kong Stock Exchange that it has exhausted all reasonable efforts to negotiate with its creditors and stakeholders. Winding up the company likely won't have any earnings impact on the other Gunting firms, as there's no cross-shareholding between them, but the questions some analysts have asked is whether Lim may try to bail out the firm with help from its sister companies, which could pose risks for their shares. Bloomberg points out that the tycoon has a history of taking such steps, having used Genting Malaysia to conduct related party transactions previously. The report cited as an example a 2019 announcement by Genting Malaysia that it was buying a 46% stake in Empire Resorts in New York from Lim. This deal caused a slump in Gunting Malaysia shares. The gaming operator now owns a 49% stake in Empire Resorts. Another concern, the report said, is that Lim pledged almost his entire stake in Gunting Hong Kong as collateral for loans to keep the Hong Kong firm going. At the close, Gunting's shares fell 1.74% to 4 ringgit 53, while Gunting Malaysia ended trading 2.07% lower at 2 ringgit 84. Supermax Corp's shares fell as much as 4.4% today after Canada ended its sourcing contract with the glove producer over allegations of forced labour. At the close, Supermax shed 5 cent or 3.7% to trade at 1 ringgit 30 cent for a market value of 3.54 billion ringgit. Canada had paused the import of gloves from Supermax last November, saying it would determine what to do next after getting an audit report on the firm's labour practices. Canada represents around 9% of the group's total market share, and this fluctuates based on the tenders awarded each year. MIDF Research said in a research note today that if not resolved soon, the issue will have a substantial impact on the group's future expansion plans and earnings. It said Supermax had been prompt to address the situation by introducing its foreign worker management policy earlier this month to speed up its efforts to meet international labour standards. And that means the time taken to overcome the termination of the contract could be sooner than other glove manufacturing companies. But the current consecutive forced labour claims highlight a lack of application of the policies designed across the group, said MITF. Since Supermax says that it has been working to improve its ESG standards since 2019, MIDF believes with proper implementation of the policies, the group will be able to weather the storm efficiently. The research house kept its neutral rating on Supermax and revised its target price to one ringgit 39 cent from one ringgit 48 previously.
Petronas Chemicals Group, or Petchem, plans to build a 60,000 ton per annum melamine plant in Gurun Kedah, which will make it Southeast Asia's sole melamine producer. In a statement, Petchem said the plant is targeted to come on stream in 2024, but did not indicate how much it is investing in it. The company said the project is in line with its journey to expand into derivatives by adding value to the molecules from its existing products such as urea and methanol. It plans to use urea produced from its fertilizer unit in Kedah as feedstock to produce the melamine. Petchem MD Chem CEO Muhammad Yusri Muhammad Yusuf said by housing the plant within the vicinity of the unit, it will be able to maximize the overall value through the integration of feedstock and utilities with the existing facility. Petchem shares closed 3 cent or 0.34% higher at 8 ringgit 98 cent, giving it a market capitalization of 71.8 billion ringgit. The Federal Court is allowing the second series of the Auditor General's Report 2019 and the addendum to the Kuala Lumpur City Plan 2020 document to be used by lawyers representing Taman Tun Dr. Ismail residents who are against the proposed Taman Rimba Kiara high-rise residential property project within the suburb. A three-member bench, led by Federal Court Judge Datuk Nalani Patmanadan, allowed the usage of both documents during a planned hearing of the appeal by proponents of the developments against the Court of Appeal's decision in September to quash the project's development order. She explained that this is because both are public documents. However, she said the relevance and weight of these two documents will be determined in the appeal proper. Memang Perkasa, the Kuala Lumpur City Hall, Yayasan Wilayah Persekutuan and Bukit Kiara Longhouse residents want the development order reinstated for the project, which will comprise four blocks of high-end service apartments and one block of affordable apartments. Memang Perkasa, a subsidiary of Malton, is the developer of the project under a JV with Yayasan Wilayah Persekutuan. This program was brought to you by Mercedes-Benz.